around two years ago, I released my first Fortnite creative map called Island Royale. Right, here it is in the flesh. It looks freaking epic. I sounded like I just came out of the womb, and the map was awful. And since that map, I've learned so many new ways to make maps, and I've just improved so much. I, I think. So, after considering it for seven months, I rebuilt my first Fortnite creative it map. Ain't Welcome everybody to the world premiere of Island Royale. Oh. Welcome to Island Royale. We're currently on the plane and holy crap. Huh. Oh. <laughs> I said what a crowd of gold. No. Okay, now that the doors are open, you can see like a full view of the map. We got Volcano Valley, we got snowy sledges, we got Sunset Sands, I forgot my own location name. I have no idea where I'm going first. Um. Cozy Cabins was a Weeping Woods ripoff and it just, it was so bad. The water was going through the ground, the buildings were all prefabs and it was just terrible. And the whole location looked like a box. Actually, the only good thing about this location was Teddy Timmy, he was just awesome. All right, here's big boy Teddy Timmy. So uh, there's a bunch of chests here, which is- But in the remastered Cozy Cabins, I changed it to like a new biome, like the galaxy biome. I added a lot of detail to it and I also added Teddy Timmy, of course. But the top part of the location is pretty boring. But when you go underneath inside the cave, there is a mysterious little cave inside. A dangerous part of the map. It has evil creatures inside of it. Inside the cave is... It's the home of the gnomes. Let me show you around. We've got these two. Uh, the playground gang. Woo! I don't know what to call this. I guess they're just the sleep gang. I don't know. Bob. The campfire squad. And this guy. Um... Now, while I leave this place for a little bit, I need to tell you something very important. This map is no build. I don't know why I said it like that. It, it's no build, so that means that you can't break anything. As you can see, you can't, you can't break anything. You can't build anything. As you can. Next location. Snowy Sledges was a snow location and it was originally a Viking village for some reason. There was also a location called Polar Palace. It was a really generic castle. It wasn't too crazy. And I thought the name Snowy Sledges didn't really fit a village like at all. So I combined two of the snow locations together to make this. It's a huge snowboarding mountain with a small cabin town with Teddy Timmy, obviously. Like, are you kidding me? Here's the beauty. This has to be my favorite location. I added music to it. I added music to it as well. I have to yell because this music really loud, but this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. And this is one of the reasons why it did no build. Because this thing right here, if you go on it, it starts moving. As Yeah, it starts moving as you can see. And you go up the mountain and it's just like those, I, I don't really know what it's called, but it's like those conveyor things. Like when you go up, you see a beautiful view of the whole map and then you land right here. And then you leave, and you're up super high. Here we are with the snowboards. Then you can slide down. Let's do this. Are you ready among us, boy? Fuck you, dreamscape. Oh, let's go. And then you can do some epic tricks. Yeah, epic tricks. Oh, shit. <laughs> some little circles you can go through, and I completely missed that. Hold 
Also, shout out to this person that commented on my community post. They suggested to make like an ice hill with like a truck crash into it. So there it is. Whoever commented that, th there it is. Here's a cool part of the location as well. There's like a few cabins around. Teddy Timmy, obviously. He's the love of my life, man. Holy crap. Here's a library right here and you can slide around this little ice skating ring type thing. Yeah, Teddy Timmy, you into that, bro? You into this right now? You into these moves, bro? Okay, next location. I'm, I'm so cringy. Holy shit. Ah, Friendly Farm. Probably the most unoriginal thing I've probably ever made in my entire life. It was a few barn houses and a field. There's literally nothing special with it at all. It's the smallest POI ever. So for the remastered version, I really wanted to do like a lucky landing type POI. So I changed Friendly Farm into what was it called? Uh, Breezy Blossoms. And it's actually really cool. It's still the smallest POI in the map, but at least it is actually good. Without further ado, let's go check it out. Oh no, my lag. Oh no. 700 p- 800 ping I cut I can't move I can't move this place has to be like the most beautifully aesthetic place in the entire map just oh, look at those trees and stuff man this building literally took me a whole day to make it don't ask me why it was just it was a hassle I really like the toilets here it looks really cool over here is where all like the bamboo is like getting planted there's like some tomatoes if you guys are having a stressful week just just listen to this okay Over here, we have like their bedroom. There's like a bed there. We got some tomatoes and my boy, my boy Teddy Timmy is working out at the farm, dude. What a legend, bro. I hit him in literally every location in this map. The last two locations. You know the drill. Volcano Valley, the hub of the island for some reason. I don't know why I called it that. Never got the volcano. It was like the main hub of the actual like game. The original Volcano Valley was so plain, dude. It was just a volcano and there was a bunch of rocks. Everything about this place was bad. Like the volcano wasn't even in the center. The volcano looked so goofy. You could also break the volcano as well. <laughs> How did I mess this up? Huzzah! Volcano Valley, baby. This right here was the first thing I built in this map. And in here, look at this, dude. Look, I, I really like the look of this place. Okay, there's going to be a mythical grappler in this chest. Oh! Dude, I got so much power. There's going to be a golden pump in this chest. Okay. So there's like a little farmhouse thing there. I really don't know what to call this. Like a little shed, I guess. Here's a path that just leads to absolute destruction. Here's like a little farm place and... But that's not what you're here for. You're here for the volcano, baby! Here's some destroyed little structures. We're just gonna... Here's a place where you can mantle. You can go... I don't really know what just happened there. <laughs> anyway, let's grapple to the volcano. There's like four islands and three of the islands have chests in them. And here's a huge burst of energy. And why did I call it energy? Here's a big burst of air. And when you jump inside, you can just go and access any part of the map. And a little bonus thing about the volcano is that if I just die real quick, here we are in an LTM. So there's three rounds in this game, and the second round is always an LTM, like the volcano LTM. I haven't really playtested the LTM, so if this is buggy, I am so sorry. Okay, let's prepare for the lava. Oh my gosh, that was a good chest. Whoa, that was cool. Okay, so now the whole sky is evil and there's a huge bit of lava. Whoa, that's going up fast. Oh, I should have slid that down a little bit. But look, everything is lava now, dude. You know what? This is a sacrifice I'm willing to take. Backflip into the lava. Let's get it. Huzzah! Woo! There's a recurring theme in all of these locations. I remember these locations being so much better than what they actually are. This is Sunset Sands. It's a sandy location and there's like a town in the middle of it. And it's literally just prefabs. It's just prefabs. Oh, and I almost forgot. I'm so sorry. There's a big rock in the middle. I don't, I don't know why that's there. This whole location was so bad. And I, I, this was my favorite location back in the day. Right, here's my favorite location by far. Sunset Sands. It's essentially just like Tilted Town, but way cooler. This weird bone thing actually makes this place look 10 times worse than it's actually so cool. I thought I was so cool for making that location, but it's just so bad. I'm in a different setup. What the heck? Well, what is this doing here? <laughs> 
I mean, okay, Sunset Sands, the lucky last location, baby. This location was like the last thing I built, and it's not the best location, but this is definitely the coolest part. I got inspiration by a clickbait thumbnail for that cave thing. Here's the clickbait thumbnail that I got inspiration from. Me and my friend Snowy were thinking of ideas, and we just looked at a random thumbnail. So over here isn't too crazy. It's just like a western town with like a clock tower and stuff like that. Like, what, what even was that? <laughs> also, around this location are animals, so you can just like... Oh, so this place here is the big part of the location. There's loot inside the skull if I just go up here. Yeah, there it is. And here's like an open cave with like mine mine shafts and bones and but yeah, not the craziest location to end with, but it, it's still a cool location. Well, that's pretty much the entire map. If you have any questions, you feel free to comment in the comments below. There's no like seasons in this map because I just kind of wanted like a rebuilding video. It, it's not like it's just like a special location. It isn't like a like a full-on creative map with like seasons and stuff, but hope you guys enjoy anyway. The code is right here if you want to play it for yourself. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed the trailer and the tour. I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Oh.